Hi everyone, I'm Mike from Common Tennis. So welcome back to another Common Tennis video. Like I said, this week we're doing two videos. So if you missed the one on Monday, go check it out. It's pretty interesting, played with a wooden racket. But today we're doing something a little bit different. It's gonna be a quick one. We're talking about Novak Djokovic. If any of you watched his last match, it was a disaster. And a lot of people have been commenting on different tennis channels that there's something wrong with him or he should retire. I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on Novak and what I think is going to happen with him this year. So let's jump right into it. Based on what we've seen this year on the two tournaments that he's played, he's played in the Australian Open where he got to the fourth round, lost to Chung there. He played again in Indian Wells, which we just saw, and he lost really bad to a qualifier, Taro Daniel from, uh, from Japan. So that was a big surprise to everyone and a lot of people had a lot of things to say about it as you can see here. So as you guys see a lot of those comments they're saying that Novak should retire, there's something seriously wrong with him. But here's my take on the matter. I think what we're seeing is a lack of confidence from Novak. What we've understood from his interviews and the things that he's been saying is that his elbow is okay and his body's feeling okay as well. He looks a little bit shaky because he doesn't have that same confidence that he had before where he was playing match after match. He's had a long period off. Now he knows that all eyes are on him. He's making his return. He's got a lot of people watching and that puts a lot of pressure on somebody. I know he is a 12 time Grand Slam champion, but even so, it's tough to come back. The pressure, everybody's human. Of course, he's gonna feel the pressure as well. That being said, here's the most important part of this video. It's what's to come for the rest of the year. What can we expect from Novak? So I don't think that Novak's gonna be quitting anytime soon. I don't see a retirement happening for him. What I see is that he's put together a new team around him. He got rid of Boris. He got rid of all the other coaches that he had, the fitness coach, all that. He replaced his, pretty much his entire team. And the two guys leading the team for him right now are his head coach, Andre Agassi, and he's also brought on Radek Stepanek as one of his coaches. Because of those two people, he could come back even stronger than we've ever seen him. So here are the reasons why we're gonna start with Radek Stepanek. Djokovic and Stepanek have played against each other uh, on tour before. Whenever they've encountered each other, Stepanek gave Djokovic a lot of trouble in the matches and oftentimes they were difficult for Djokovic to win, they were close matches. And uh, I'll put some of those scores on the screen for you right now. So as you guys can see, those scores were pretty tight in a lot of the cases. And the reason why is because Stepanek is a very crafty player. He, has, he uses a lot of different shots, changes the pace, makes the player uncomfortable and essentially frustrates his opponent, makes them mess up, makes them lose, and makes them lose their temper. From what we've seen in the past, Djokovic kind of has his main game plan where he stays at the baseline and controls rallies from there, looks for opportunities to come forward. And I think adding Stepanek to the team, he's gonna bring though that variety to Djokovic. He's gonna teach him some of his ways, frustrating the opponents. And I think that that's gonna add a lot of tricks up Djokovic's sleeve that we haven't seen before. But it's something that has to come with practice and with more work with his team. Now, finally, let's go to Andre Agassi. So I think that the biggest key component to his team right now is Andre. And the reason I think that Andre can bring Djokovic to an even higher level than he was before is because Andre Agassi has gone through these things that Djokovic is facing right now. He's gone through, Andre had a surgery on his wrist that put him out of the game for a long time dropped his ranking a lot and he managed to come back to number one and dominate the game. And I think that his influence is gonna help Djokovic achieve the same thing. Here's another important piece of this video and it's what I think Djokovic needs to do in order to get to that level. He needs to take his pride aside for a little bit, go down to the challenger, he's gotta get those matches in, he's gotta get the practice. Andre did it after his injury, we've seen Kei Nishikori do it as well and Nishikori has seen a good improvement in his game and he's back in the contest for a lot of these tournaments that we're seeing him in, he's playing some good tennis. So I think Djokovic should do that, playing those challengers, getting some wins under his belt and then moving on to these Masters 1000s and then eventually the Grand Slams, I think that that's what needs to happen for Djokovic and I think that that's what we might see after the Miami Open. All right guys, I would love to hear what you guys think of Novak Djokovic. Do you guys think he'll be able to make it back to number one let me know, leave that comment down below. I'd love to hear your opinions and read that. All right, guys, that wraps up another Common Tennis video. I will see you guys again on Monday. Help me get 100 subscribers. Share this video. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and leave that thumbs up. Have a great weekend.